Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about the inequalities that exist among higher education in the United States. Now, in the United States, roughly 30 to 35% of the population has a college degree. Now, this number would be higher if the higher education system was structured just a little bit differently. Currently, higher education is very expensive. Even the public university system is expensive. And that leads people with two options. Either they can go in debt financing their education, or they can choose to not go to college at all. Now, one can see how this leads to inequality among who becomes educated at a high level and who does not. If you are of lesser financial means, there is a high likelihood that you will struggle to adequately finance your higher education in a way that is accessible to you. So in this type of situation, it is no wonder why in the United States we see such vast dichotomy in the outcome of people's lives. And this has a way of translating into what people end up believing and thus teaching to their children. If we just use an example to illustrate this point, I can point to the southern states having less education than the northern states. And this lack of education in the southern states, it can be argued, has led to massive COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy. And this is not good. This will keep the COVID-19 pandemic alive in the United States for the foreseeable future. Now, it is difficult to operate a just and well-functioning society when such educational inequalities persist. One cannot get mad at people who have misinformed beliefs if those people were not afforded proper access to higher education. We must 
fix this inequality? I don't know if there is actual will politically to do so. But I believe it is the moral thing to do and it is the only way to have an educated, moral, and forward-thinking society. If you continue to look at education as more of a divisive thing as we have done in the United States, then we will continue to see massive economic inequality and continued social unrest. So I think it is paramount that we find a way to minimize this higher education inequality that exists in the country.